we just keep taking it up a notch. All right, some more advanced movements. Uh, we're gonna do angel wings. I'm gonna bring Kerry in to demonstrate this. Because this... I'm the angel with the wings. Oh, totally. <laughs> I'm just a little halo. Stuck in my horns? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Alright, um, again this is the hustle movement, you, you can really do it in any dance. Um, so fun to put our hustle movement in modern jive. Oh, totally. So this is a very advanced movement because it's got some tricky movements, some rotation by the girl, she's picking up a hand basically blind, um, and it's just knowing that when you're coming out of movements, and I've got my back to you, that there's going to be a hand there somewhere on offer that you're going to need to pick up. But we'll show the movement first. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can finish anyway, but this is yeah, yeah. sexy. sexy. <laughs> it's hot, it's sexy, it's saucy. Saucy, it's saucy. <laughs> Spanish sauce, is it Spanish sauce? You like your hot sauce. Kerry made some really nice uh, Mexican food the other day. All right. <laughs> I might have just faced Shane out on that one. <laughs> oh, that was good though. All right, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I love it. Kerry got there early because I went a little slower <laughs> in the count. But all she did was hold so she could continue to prep her body. You know, these things are great when they happen because it's good for people to see that. Well, we have a high level dancer that can turn on and dime, so she's there going, why are you can so slow? <laughs> but she was patient and waiting for the I lead. Because I actually felt the lead and go that fast and do it, he just slowed down his mouth. Yes. Um, before we turn it, can we walk it through real quick? So All this right. first little bit that starts out with two hands, it's actually the first thing that we do before we get into the first move. Yeah, so, the rock hands. the hands, don't put them on the booty, don't put them on the booty. You want to go from the small of the back, hands, the back but the way you get there is to lengthen her elbows, and then fold it behind. So if you've ever done a hammer lock or an S turn, lengthen the elbow, then flip yeah. so that she can fold up underneath. Same thing here. Lengthen the elbow and then slide the hands up to the lower back. And that will also create enough space for you to do this. Because most modern jivers know this move that we put in the hammer lock anyway. Or I'll show it the other direction. So oh. Yeah. So we're just doing it with two hands. And that makes it all that much more difficult. We go into our infamous uh, male advanced footwork. <laughs> but if you keep counting, you'll be able to stay on. So we'll do the first move and the hands drop down. We go one, two. On the way down, already on two. Stepping forward, three for both of us because Shane helps close up the space. Four. Then in his advanced footwork, he's lunged to the left. He's not doing any weight changes here quite yet. Then he's going to rock me back. Five, six to over rotate, letting go of the right hand. He starts unwinding me with the left hand. When my back is to him in a position where he can drop the hand or flip his hand, then he rotates me around and starts walking forward. So let's show that from a different angle. We do our first move rock, step, drop, then hands, butterfly, rock, step, unwind, rewind. So we'll do it from a different direction. And rock, step, drop the hands to the lower back. We'll over rotate her. Left hand, unwind, rewind. Good. One more time, but from this direction. Yeah, and if we do it correctly, we can drop the hand on the unwind, rewind. But if you do it correctly, it shouldn't need to. And rock, step, drop the hands, small the back, over rotate her. Unwind, rewind. Now we'll go head on. Shane is stepping me forward. So basically, he holds his left hand out there. And I visually see it, I run into it. He looks over his right shoulder, allowing me to do our London bridges or go under the arm, and that's when we exit into whatever we want to exit. Yeah. So we'll talk through that from this direction. So just let me talk about the guy's footwork. Standard footwork, eight or in, in, one, two, three, I wrap the girl four. I send her back five, it's all in the upper body. You may end up split weight there, five, if you have to shift or press into the floor. Then when you unwind her six, when you bring her out, I'm holding till I feel that she's gone around, I step across, I step across, 
I move as much or as little as I need. I'm looking over my left shoulder. Once I look over my right shoulder, that enables me to offer that hand. I don't want to let that elbow go back. So I offer the hand up and then lift it up and over. Can you demonstrate that again, but from this side as well here? Good. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Excellent. So as we talk through it, I'm going to show the ladies' footwork as well. So we'll start from this side. We've already done this beginning portion. We've ro over rotated her. We're undoing. We're rewinding. Now, if he's doing this in a position where he's ready to go, you're going to be walking forward, ladies, with your right foot, right, left, right, left into a normal basic. If he is not doing it at full tempo, like when he slowed down his counting before, maybe we do this real quick because I'll demonstrate that. In lieu of what might be a rock step there, so this would normally be a rock step, we're probably going to do a push together because he might not be sending us quite yet, and then travel, 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 unwind. So the feet are going to be adjusted there. We'll demo that from the other side. I'll demo it with perfect feet. So we'll rock it back. We'll unrun, we'll rewind, he'll send me forward, then underneath into the rock step. And then I will go ahead and do it from that same side with that adjusted footwork if he slows down. Rock, step, walk, walk over, rotate. Walk, walk. I might get that feet together forward, kind of like a rock step there. If maybe he's slowing down, not only for music purposes or perhaps for traffic purposes, or even just to make sure you've gotten there. If he's waiting and being polite and making sure you get there, you can take that little bit of that rock step to keep the modern drive footwork flavor and rhythm as part of that movement. So just to go on, remember, we, sometimes we put a count to a move, but you're dancing and it doesn't quite go at that time. It doesn't matter. Sometimes it goes through so fast, you're like, damn, I'm a legend. We led that and followed that so perfectly. Awesome. But if it takes longer, it doesn't matter. Right. So let's demonstrate it this way. I'm going to do the guys for count. Okay. And one, two, three, hold, four, rock, five, six, seven, eight. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And even if I rocked Kerry on an upbeat there, it is not wrong. Because literally, I set the timing there. If I want to go early to hit something in the music, I'm going to send her on the upbeat. So it doesn't really matter. The point is the timing here. One, two, three, hold, four, rock, five, six. I change weight, walk out seven, eight, if everything's on time. Otherwise, it's walk out one, two. Then I move out of the way. I start to rotate over to my right, and then I move out of the way. I'm traveling as much after I sit carrying that rock. I might step out of the way. I might not have to. It might be just a weight change under my body, but I move according to how I need her to have enough space to get around me to get into that mood. The last thing I'd like to demo is this direction. Hmm. One, two, three, hold, four, rock, five, six, step, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. And we can do lots of different flavors there. I'd say get used to doing that move because it is a humdinger. 